All right, what's going on guys? It's Leroy's Wizards here. Today there was a fairly big deal patch that was released and it has addressed some of the issues that people have been talking about for months. So in this video, I'll be highlighting the major changes that have been patched and I'll go ahead and give my personal take on them and, and how I think they'll impact the metagame. So without further ado, let's get right into the big name changes. So in this part of the video, I'm going to go ahead and just outline all of these small little patch changes. I'm not going to go into too much detail about them. I'm just going to go ahead and list them here just so you know that they are in the patch. All right, so the first change we have here is reduced maximum range for weapons to match character relevancy distance. I'm not too entirely sure what this means, but it's there for you on the patch notes. The next change we have here is Fortress Ignathio has a new side entrance on defenders right slash attackers left of the fortress. So that'll be pretty cool to see. And we have another Ignathio change here, which is the end of the secret pipe on Ignathio is no longer out of bounds, so it is possible to shoot into the new side entrance. So that's pretty nice. Up next, we have a Magan Station change, where Magan Station has had many of the far spawn points moved closer to the B and C capture points. Defenders should find themselves spawning 150 meters away instead of 200 plus meters now. And the last small change that we have is a setting screen overhaul to allow for further advanced options and settings to be added. So I assume they're going to be adding more options for us to fuck around with, so that'll be pretty cool to see in the future. Alright, so that about wraps up all the small patch changes. Let's go ahead and talk about the big changes now. Um, as I list off all these changes, I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about each change because I feel that these do need to be talked about and explained a little bit more. So without further ado, let's get right into them. Alright, so the first big change of the patch is loadout point costs for many weapons have been reduced. Every quote-unquote mastercrafted weapon was reduced at least by a little. The Mastercrafted Bolters used to be a 100 LP increase, now they only cost an extra 30. So you could actually make Mastercrafted Bolter loadouts uh, as of this patch. Other weapons that have had their costs reduced would be Mastercrafted Power Fist. Basically anything Mastercrafted has had their LP costs reduced, so you could warrant running those. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but um, for my personal recommendation, I would not run a Mastercrafted Bolter specifically. I would probably stick to a regular Bolter for the extra LP to be used on anything such as a Mastercrafted Knife, which is what I'm going to get into next in this next change. So this next change is going to probably be the biggest out of all the changes on this patch, and I'm going to go ahead and put the full change on the bottom of the video here so you can read it. But I'm just going to go ahead and briefly summarize the change for you. So essentially what the change is, is that a Tacticals debash, rather than being pretty long, is actually short now. So that means you just can't debash a melee player once and insta-kill him because he decided to light attack you and you debashed him. You can get about maybe two bolter rounds inside the debash maximum before he can roll begin fighting you again. So that's not too much, but it's still something. Either way, this nerf is pretty big and it's going to change the metagame a lot and you'll probably be seeing more jump packs and ground assaults running around in the coming weeks of the patch. Now despite all that, you might be saying to yourself, but Leroy, that sounds horrible. Is this the death of ranged? Because I love my bolt gun and melee is for chumps. 1000% absolutely not my friends. I've played with this change for several hours today and I can perform just as well as I always have and I still get called a hacker. I've been called a hacker twice today. You just need to find your way to adapt to the nerf in your playstyle of how you play a tactical, that's all. For me personally, I started running a Mastercrafted knife on my LSM, and I'm still working out something on my CSM, but right now I have basically permanently switched over to Nurgle, just because I'm more tankier, so I can deal with the melee more often. But these are just thoughts off the top of my head, so to summarize, this change is going to force a very strong meta shift, but tacticals are no way in hell dead or inferior. This next change is pretty simple and self-explanatory, and that is trinkets are now percent increase based rather than a flat amount. So instead of plus 4 health, it's plus 4% increased health, plus 2 health to plus 2% health, and vice versa for these trinkets. These scale much better now and are worth considering picking up if you have extra LP to spend in a loadout. They now scale very nicely for vet loadouts especially, due to the super high armor you can reach in a vet loadout. Overall, I think the small change is very good, so good on you for this one, behavior. The last big change that I wanted to talk a bit about is that Black Bolt now has an extra tank and two extra transports to the attacking side. This has been a long needed change to the map as a failed push on Black Bolt and losing both Rhinos results in practically an immediate loss for the attackers. The reason for that is that the map was pretty much just too big to warrant only two rhinos. I mean, even Refinery Ellipsis is much smaller than Black Bolt, and even that map has more than two rhinos to spawn with. So once again, behavior, really nicely done on this one. I'm not really going to go into any of the bug fixes, as I think they aren't really that important to talk about. They're pretty small. Except for the real, except for the Silver Shooter one. The Silver Shooter one is where 
it was apparently intended to be a big shooter and not a regular shooter. So that's about the only noticeable one that you should really take note about. It's in the actual patch notes in the Steam community site, so if you want to go ahead and look at the bug fixes, there's only about seven of them. They're not really crazy, so. But yeah, that about wraps it up for me here. That is my take on the patch, what I think of it, and yeah. One thing I wanted to add before I wrap this up is that I'm going to be streaming on the 28th to 30th of July for the War Weekend event, so catch me up there. I'm going to have my Twitch, I'll have my Twitch link in the description below the video here. So yeah, that about wraps up the patch overview video, and uh, as always, twiz out.